Thought you might be uh, interested in this story. Well, especially Sammy. Because she has that dog that she brings everywhere with her. Yeah. Right. Uh, a woman in Southwest, she was uh, kicked off the plane because she was petting her dog. What? Yeah, That's the good. dog was in its carrier, and I okay. guess it was whining a little bit. So, you know, the woman's like, so oh, well, comforting then. it. Yeah, so she started petting it to calm it down. And the, uh, the flight attendant came over and told her, the, number one, the carrier had to be completely closed while boarding, during the flight, and while deplaning. Okay. But the dog kept whining, so the woman just started petting it again, and that's what got her kicked off the flight. Good. Wow. Uh, so she opened the carrier to do so. See, there was two different accounts. One said that she was petting it kind of through the mesh. Okay. You know, mm. uh, right. side of the of the carrier. Another one said that she did have it open, but not enough for the you know the animal to get out. Like she just put her hand just enough to get the hand in there. Right. Uh, another passenger took some video. And this is when she was uh, already asked to leave, and she was packing up the dog and the rest of her stuff. So again, like, didn't she never mm. made it away from the gate? Wow. Yeah, like she got on the plane. Okay. She was doing this, you know, before oh, they okay. left. Before they uh -huh. And the flight attendant just told her, like, hey, look, it needs to be completely closed while boarding, during the flight, and while deplaning. No, I'm not going to have you touch a thing of mine. You are rude. You are a mean person, and I would never fly Southwest. Uh -oh. Unbelievable. Come on, baby girl. We wish yeah. you the best of luck, honey. Thank you. This is I'm amazing. sorry. This is I'm ridiculous. Sorry that oh, it's insane. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. Oh. So Damn it, enablers. She support. Yep. From I'm, no, it just sounds like, I don't know, The maybe the flight attendant was being a little overzealous if people were on her side. Yeah. Right. I think it's kind of silly. Yeah. Like, the thing's in the carrier. And the dog's in the carrier. Yet. And you leave, you know, you, you leave just enough to get your hand in there and, and you know, Pet them the condom. But, then. but why? Again, I don't. Do you want to hear mm -hmm. Ravy? I don't. For hours. Well, on she end. was trying to take right. care of that. But it right. wasn't working. Stop it. Wasn't working. Yeah. Uh, she was stopped in the middle of it. Right. Yeah. Because look, the flight attendant knew. She, the flight attendant sniffed this out way ahead of time. Like, look, we've had enough mm -hmm. of this crap. We've been giving these people too long of a uh, pun intended leash for too long. See, I typically agree with you on this stuff, but I disagree on this one. But it doesn't sound like this dog is a good flyer. Exactly. Now, it um, wasn't causing a ruckus or anything. I get though. that. I mean, the, that we know of. Now, I was just on a flight last week, and it was one of those where you know um, you get off the plane and you have to kind of walk across a little bit of the tarmac to go into the airport building. Right. And so this woman, uh, she had a carrier, little dog about the size of your dog, uh, in there, like a little small tiny dog. And the uh, top it was unzipped and it's just sticking its head out. And Aww. they came running yeah. over to her going, you need to close that. Because mm -hmm. I guess they're yeah, thinking yeah, like, yeah. Really? It, could it, could, it could jump out. It could jump, jump out and start yeah. running across the, the, the tarmac. Right. It'd be a major hazard. Uh, yeah. And this woman is rolling her eyes oh. and to her husband, mother effing the employee. Which, really? In that situation, I understood. Because, yes. The dog could, let's just out, say, yeah. jump out. Definitely. Now it's running all over the- My uh, baby would never jump out. Okay, bitch. Oh, well, no, but I, in this situation, though, it, it's fine. Like, you, she reaches her hand in there and pets. The, it's not out of the carrier. The thing's still in the but again, carrier. You guys yeah. are you're ignoring the, the not. I don't care about that as much either, About but the noise. I guarantee the noise is, was not going to get better when, the, when it goes up in the but air. People but people make noises on yeah. planes. No, no don't like, give me that. You can talk to a person and have a conversation. The dog, you cannot talk to. I can. I talk to my dog every day. <laughs> okay, yeah, but also great. babies cry on, on a plane. Again, I mean, again yeah. these are people. People are not animals. I can't equate things to people. Yeah, I, exactly. I'm with Seabass on that. Like, I also can't well, sit there and go, argument. like, you know, right. well, people this. And, Again, and, if Greg is, yeah. and by the way, this happened to Greg. He was doing, he was, uh, and he got moved to the he back of the plane. He was asked to move. <laughs> but I would. I <laughs> Sir, we need you to leave. Uh, <laughs> we have an animated podcast about no, it. But I'm on a plane. Yeah, every, every time, every time was, uh, the, the, the plane made any kind of, like, bump or, you know, whatever. Like, Greg was, like, grabbing onto the armrest as hard as it would white yeah. knuckling. It was mega turbulent. Oh, God. Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh god! And so the, I guess he was making people he around him nervous. People I was. Nervous. The flight attendant came over and made him move to the very back yeah. of the plane. Like wow. she, had, she had to get me a napkin because I was making my fingers bleed. We're gonna have to. <laughs> we're gonna have to uh, relocate you. So while I'm not, by gonna, me. I'm not willing to equate animals to people, uh, I am not also agreeing with Sea Bass in this particular situation because I think she was addressing the whining and comforting. Because I know, like, my dog can calm me down, and I can calm the dog down. Right. Mm. Like, you know, I have the ability, like, if she's getting, like, too worried, I go, come over here. And she sits, and I go, relax. And I pet her, mm. and she calms down. Look, I, we, we don't she know. calms down. Like, I, I, we, the, the, the dog may have gotten better. It may have gotten worse. We don't know. 
But the fact that it was even in that state to begin with, like Ravy said, dogs mm-hmm. a bad flyer shouldn't be on the. Pl- that's a selfish person to begin with to bring that dog on a plane. Agreed. What if it's fine every other time? It just for whatever reason, this particular time, it's it's whining a little well, bit. Maybe. I, you well, know. what if we don't know? Yeah, but we know all we know is what happened. But, right. Uh, but like the other passengers the around weren't worried about it. Yeah, that's, well, no, the, that's thing. the thing. It no, wasn't the, disturbing yeah. them. The, the flight attendant, the safety specialist, was worried about it. The safety she, specialist. Yeah. 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 Now yeah. Sandy's yeah. crapping on your profession, flight attendants. <laughs> well, I mean, they do say, like, uh, yeah, first and for foremost, they're there for your safety. She loves that's cheaters, true. and that's she true. thinks flight attendants don't know yeah. crap about safety. That's At Sammy. Wow, Sammy. Sorry, I know. What a bitch. I don't know if this is true, but someone in the text saying the lady went to another state to pick up this puppy. Puppy. So it's scared mm-hmm. for many reasons, which is mm-hmm. why it was again. Maybe no. Don't you, okay, yeah. puppy. You don't need to pick up. Number one, they have them everywhere. They're dime a dozen, as Menace would say. And number <laughs> two, dogs don't need to fly unless you're actually a, it's an actual service animal. Yeah, but if they do, look. Here's my final statement on this. <laughs> don't be. A, <laughs> yeah, so everybody, <laughs> like, everybody, right, buckle here's, up. Here's my final right, statement. Yeah, because if you're annoyed by <laughs> because after this, he's not going to make yeah, any more, any, no, no more statements on it. Um, <laughs> this is it. If you're annoyed by dogs on airplanes, you're just an over dramatic bitch. Shut up. A ravey? A a yeah, lap? sorry, you are. You are. Uh, that you're just over dramatic. Was in my lap that entire way across you, the country. Over dramatic. I am not useless human being. It's <laughs> sorry. Its face you're... was on my knee. You guys. Oh I my have some... god! All a dog cuteness. was there, and it sucked. You guys, oh my god! You guys, I have something to say. <laughs> okay, hold on. Is this your final yeah. statement? This is my final <laughs> statement. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I agree with menace. Yeah. When it comes to people who have their pet and they are. Behaving mm-hmm. themselves and they're in their carrier <laughs> and everything else. I uh, I disagree when it comes to people who are trying to get around the loopholes with the rules and everything else. This is a service animal. No, it certainly is not. I also draw the line with what Ravy's talking about. Right, that people, dog wasn't even in a carrier. Like like in any way, shape, or form, if another passenger or their animal or their child mm-hmm. is infringing on your space, that sucks. They're the ones who suck. Oh, no, yes, you're a little you. bitch. Yeah. You, know, you, you can't. Just no, deal. they're the ones who, if they're infringing on you, like you have basically leased have this space. I have paid for this seat. <laughs> from here yeah. to here. And it and did from not here include to your damn dog. You know right how I started me, uh, dealing with kids on airplanes is when I flew with, uh, a guy that was a parent, and he's like, "Kids cry. That's what they do." Right. Just, okay, know. but I was on a Thanksgiving <laughs> you know? flight yeah. once with oh, a kid who was out I'm of. I'm sorry, his seat. it's not your world Snacky. that we live in. It. Well, it's not the kids world either. Yeah. It, it's not about that menace. Like I understand what you're saying, and I'm on your Things side. Things happen. Not we don't have a perfect situation. Yes. is what I'm trying to say. But my point is, so you don't have to sit and cry See, and whine no, about is, it for months on end because do. there was a dog on an airplane. No, <laughs> who cares? We're talking about. <laughs> I animal. cared. She, she's <laughs> not <laughs> whining about it months on end. Nope. If no. The, what is it? Two years now. If the person, this is an important thing. Look, I think it's a very easy thing. If the person, animal their belongings or whatever is infringing on what little space you are given on a plane, you are then the problem. Right. Yeah. You're yeah. you are the problem. Your not the other end, way around. Your freedoms end when no. they encroach yeah. on my freedom. Yeah. Not the other but way around. Again, on the on the other on the flip side of that, I'm not gonna cater to over dramatic people and be like, oh I'm sorry that you had to deal with the dog on airplane. No, there's a difference between you know? a dog over dramatic yeah. and or yeah. completely yeah. accurate. Yeah. Completely accurate. Because I agree with half yeah. of what you're saying. The other half I don't. That's what I'm saying. The Ravy, I understand what she's saying. Thank because you. it's yeah. infringing on her space. If that mm-hmm. dog was in it, I don't have a problem with this lady. Yeah. She had the dog she, in the carrier. The kid the the, the, the carrier a, was never open where the dog could get out and whatever. She'd get a medal for dealing with that dog. <laughs> Yeah. What I, about the kid I'm not that agreeing. was like crawled out under yeah. my legs out into the aisle? And I, I have know. to tell that kid's mom, hey, your kid got out. I, oh, let me live. Oh, oh my God. That's when you lean down to the kid and say, what the <laughs> hell are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Get out of here. Uh, seven four. Menace is the most chill person ever. Think about it. You put uh, you know, dog semen on his face, and he can call everyone else over dramatic because compared to him, everyone is. Yeah. Not according Thank to you. his blood pressure. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Highest oh. in the room. Not, yeah. Because <laughs> I have to deal with or, overdramatic people all the time. I'm the one that's, that's raising why, his maybe. blood pressure. Uh.